nakarinig na kayo ng mga dating katolikong hindi na katoliko. Nakarinig na kayo ng mga dating katoliko ngayon hindi na naniniwala sa Diyos. At nakarinig na kayo ng kasalanan ng pari, kasalanan ng ubispo, kasalanan ng kardinal, kasalanan din ng Pope. Natitiya ko nakarinig na kayo ng mga kaso ng sexual misconduct, abuse of minors, priest fathers, corruption in the church, political priests, criminal priests, liar priests. Ang tanong ko ay, bakit di pa kayo umaalis? Bakit nagsisimba pa kayo? Why do you stay Catholic? The answer to the question, why are you still here? And why do you stay Catholic? Can be answered by the Gospel for today. Why did the Lord return to the eleven? Remember, this is a bunch of liars. This is a bunch of cowards. This is a bunch of men who promised to be faithful but abandoned Him. This is a bunch of men who are supposed to be courageous, who were not even able to defend the Lord from the attacks, from the verbal attacks, from the physical attacks. Akala ko faithful. Akala ko BFF. Pero nung nagkakagipita na, nagtakbuhan kayo. Jesus could be like any of us. And Jesus could say, For what you have done, tatawag na lang ako ng ibang labing dalawa. Pwede, di ba? Tatawag na lang ako ng iba. Ipagkakatiwala ko na lang yung mabuting balita sa ibang tao. Sapagkat kayo, kapag nagkasubukan, wala kayong kwentang kaibigan. And the question that we ask the Lord is, Lord, why do you still return to this barkada? Why don't you send them away and put up a new group? Why? Why stay with them? Why bear with them? Why endure them? There are two reasons why. Jesus chose to stay instead of canceling his friends because Jesus chose to mature. Jesus chose to grow. Only adults will be able to forgive. Only mature men and women will be able to forgive. The children, the adolescents, the teenagers, the impulsive youth will just cancel you, will just block you on Facebook, will just unfriend you, will just ostracize you, will just stay, will just stray away, will just run away, will just block you off, will cancel you from my list. But when the Lord chose to stay with them, He is actually saying, if you are immature and you run away from me, why should I be immature and imitate you in your immaturity? So what did the Lord do? Instead of rebuke, He forgave. Instead of acting the way the disciples have acted, He leveled up. He brought them to a deeper and higher level, the level of forgiveness. So back to the question, with all the sins of the church, with all the sins of the men of the church, mga taong nasaktan ng pare, ng supladong obispo, ng materyosong pare, bakit pa kayo naririto? Ang sagot ay, naririto ako sapagkat gusto kong magmature. I don't like to remain childish and write off. Can you imagine a child who is disappointed by the misconduct of his father or a child who is disappointed by his chismosa or lying mother? Will the child 
just remain a child and say, I will leave this family because my parents are not good parents. If the child wants to mature, he will stay in the same family and then take up with maturity the power to forgive. That is why resurrection and forgiveness come at the same time because there can be no resurrection without forgiveness. Resurrection raises the body that has been killed, but forgiveness raises the soul that has been stained. Is that all why you stay? There is still a second reason why people stay, and it is what the Lord did to Thomas. With us, sabi natin, ang pangit ng simbahan, ang pangit ng kaparian, ang pangit ng mga obispo, dugu-duguan, maraming kasalanan, may secret, may marami kaming alam. And with those woundedness, with those bleeding wounds, we would have enough reason to leave the church. Kung ako lang at malaman ko yon, baka mauna pa akong lumabas ng simbahan kaysa sa inyo. Pero bakit nandito pa rin ako? Bakit? Kasi yung sugat ni Jesus, bagamat pangit, ay patotoo pa rin na ang simbahan ay hindi dahil banal ang taong simbahan. Ang simbahan ay banal sapagkat banal ang grasya ng Diyos. Sapagkat kung ang simbahang katolika ay para lamang korporasyon, sa loob ng dalawang libong taon, matagal nang dapat natunaw ang simbahang katolika. Sa dami ng kasalanan ng Santo Papa, ng mga obispo, ng mga pari, ng mga laiko, matagal na dapat natunaw itong simbahang ito. Pero nakatayo pa rin ang simbahan. Kitang-kita natin, hindi ito gawa lang ng tao, gawa ito ng grasya ng Diyos. So if you see the wounds of the church, the Lord invites us, touch the wounds, and through the wounds be able to see that it is grace, not toned muscles, not beautiful faces, not sexy bodies, not popularity, not intelligence that keeps the church standing. It is the grace of God. Back to the question, why do you stay Catholic? The first reason is, I stay Catholic in spite of what I have seen because I choose to grow rather than to be childish because forgiveness is the great sign of spiritual maturity. Why am I still a Catholic? In spite of the wounds of the church? In spite of the wounds that the men of the church have done to the church? Why? Because this itself is the proof na sa dami ng kasalanang ginawa ng mga taong simbahan at nakatayo pa rin ang simbahan, sa dami ng mga hari, emperador at presidente na nagsabing babagsak ko yung simbahang yan. Namatay na yung mga hari, namatay na yung emperador, nakatayo pa rin yung simbahan. Yun ay patotoo na hindi ito gawagawa ng tao. Hindi ito tagumpay ng tao. Ito ay sapagkat sa kabila ng kahinaan at sugat ng tao, kumikilos ang grasya ng Diyos. Why stay Catholic? For two reasons. The wounds of the church are also signs that the grace of the Lord are powerfully at work. The sins of the church people are also opportunities for me to mature and to grow and not remain childish and infantile, but to forgive. Grace and forgiveness. These are the reasons why the Lord returned to the eleven. And it is also grace and forgiveness which are the reasons why we stay in this church in spite of all the ugliness that we see.
It is God's work, not human work. It is forgiveness, not cancel culture. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube. And I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.